viewers, I'm John. And I'm Maddie. And, and we're, we're the Energy, Energy Crew. Crew. Alright, all this time we've just been talking about renewable energy sources. Tell me something about the other stuff, the non-renewables. How about coal? Want to learn about that? Sure, why not? Well, coal is pretty popular, serving 40% of the world. That's over 7,753 tons every year. Wow, we must have a lot on this earth then. But wait, how is that stuff formed? Excellent question. Coal is actually made from dead plants and animals from the times when dinosaurs roamed the earth. The plants died and then accumulated at the bottom of the swamps that covered most of the earth. The heat and pressure then got the plants to accumulate and compress into coal. It settles below the earth's surface in groups, and that is where the humans come in. We mine the stuff up and burn it for electricity. Do you know what makes up coal? I mean, what is it made of? Coal is mainly made of carbon. It does have small amounts of nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, and sulfur. I'm sure that you've heard of some explosions that have occurred in coal mines. I have heard of that. Back in the day, they used gas lanterns to light up the coal mines, which is a bad idea. They are toxic and flammable gases that naturally occur in the mines. This leads to deaths and explosions. Below Centralia, Pennsylvania, there is a burning coal mine. It lit on fire in 1962 and is still burning till this day. That must be a ghost town. When the mine first opened, the town had around 1,000 people in it. However, it has decreased to 10 people in 2010. Ah, so I was right. To avoid all this fire in the mines, they brought canaries down to the mines to detect for gas. Canaries can detect harmful gas? No. If the birds die, then there's harmful gas. Well, not expecting that. Don't worry. Technology prevents that method from still being used. What a relief. I know, right? After the coal is mined out of the ground, it is then sent off to various power plants, usually by train, and then burned in furnaces. The heat from the burning coal boils water, and the steam spins a turbine, the exact same way we produce electricity every other way. Except for solar panels. Mm, true, true. Going back to the thought that coal produces 40% of the world's electricity, is it good for the environment? By no means is it good. It is actually one of the worst alongside natural gas. In fact, a typical power plant gives off 3.5 million tons of CO2 each year. Still, that is nothing compared to the amount of nitrogen and oxygen we have in the air. However, it is a little bit worse than none of it. If coal is so bad for the environment, then why do we still use it? We still use it because it is a very cheap and efficient way to create electricity. And since recently there has been a big push to end the usage of coal, there can be countless amounts of problems if we decide to not use it anymore. Coal is a huge part of the economy, just like oil and natural gas. There is still hope, though. I read about recent technologies that are helping in the making of e an eco-friendly coal. It gives off less CO2, which is better for the environment. Wait a minute, what will happen when we run out of coal? Do not worry. That will not happen for about 253 years. We there is approximately 4 trillion tons under the Earth. Yeah, and by that time, electricity would have a whole new definition. That is true. The smart minds of the world will find better ways to fix these problems.